Part 4. Loading the RoboSep Carousel and Starting a Run RoboSep S comes with a RoboSep service rack to hold and organize reagents and sample tubes prior to loading them onto the carousel. After having selected the protocols for each quadrant, you are ready to load the samples and reagents into the carousel. The screen will show an image of the carousel. The on-screen instructions will help guide you through the loading process. Load the reagent vials, one at a time, following the on-screen prompts. You will see the corresponding part number for each of the reagents that need to be loaded. Make sure that each file contains the minimum reagent volume required for a given cell separation. This will be displayed below the name for each reagent. Load the sample tube. When prompted for the tip rack, first remove the tip rack cap. Next, fully insert the rack into the appropriate slot. Keep following the on-screen prompts and load the separation tube into the magnet. Ensure it's fully inserted and the bottom is touching the carousel. Load the waste fraction 50 milliliter tube. Load the 50 milliliter negative fraction tube. Finally, ensure that the buffer bottle is in its corresponding compartment and uncap it. When a quadrant is completely loaded, press the green button on the lower right corner of the screen. As a final check, first, Ensure that the caps for the buffer bottle, all tip boxes, and reagents have been removed. Next, make sure the tip boxes are fully inserted into their slots. Lastly, ensure that all the tubes in the carousel, including the ones in the Easy Set magnets, are properly seated and the caps have been removed. When all desired quadrants are loaded, close the instrument's lid. Selecting the barcode button on the screen will scan the barcode on each reagent file so the instrument can verify the correct reagents have been loaded in the correct locations as per the protocol selected. Scanning the barcodes will also allow reagent-specific information such as catalog and lot numbers to be recorded in end-of-run reports. For more details regarding the RoboCEPS barcode scanner, refer to section 4.3.4 in the technical manual. If sample tubes are labeled with barcodes, these can be scanned using a manual external barcode scanner. Click on the sample ID box for the sample tube. Once selected, scanning the barcode with the manual barcode scanner will allow you to record sample specific information. The same process can be repeated for the buffer bottle as well. The next screen will ask if you have removed all vial and tube caps. Click yes. RoboCEP will now run the selected protocols. And a run progress screen will appear after approximately one minute. The time remaining until each quadrant completion is displayed on the screen. In order to avoid disrupting the positional calibration of RoboCEP's carousel and arm, do not touch any mobile parts while the unit is running. If for some reason you need to pause the instrument, press the pause button. If you press the pause button, the run will be interrupted as soon as it completes the current action. To resume the run, press resume. The RoboCEP will rehome and continue the run at the next scheduled action. Only click the stop button if you want to stop the run completely without the option to restart. 